Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Well, somebody's finding out some kind of truth about you, okay? And it's through a lot of gossip. I feel like there's a group of people that are doing a lot of talking about you. And they're saying things that this person doesn't want to hear. They're talking about your abundance, your success. Um, maybe they're saying things like you're, hap you're happier without them. They could be getting called out on all of their BS. You know, as, they, as these people come to them and say, yeah, the collective is doing really awesome. Did you hear the collective hit a milestone? Another one and another one and another one. The collective is growing and looking gorgeous. Some of these people are like, yeah, yeah, I saw the collective out and they look absolutely beautiful. Like, wow, you know, if this is stuff this person doesn't want to hear. They may even get harsh and nasty with these people. And these people are like, hey, look, man, you had your chance. You had your chance at the collective and you blew it. Like then they start calling this person out. Okay. Yeah, look, you're in this earth angel energy. I feel like this person here, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, they were very much in their ego. And they see the thing with the with the King of Swords energy. To me, they're very harsh. They're very cold. They're they think they're larger than life. This person had a massive ego. Okay, and they they want people to see them as larger than life. All right, and um, they don't like to admit when they're wrong. Okay, you, this is somebody who. It, it, you know, um, I always get, you can't teach a, an old dog new tricks, right? This is someone who's extremely intelligent, but it's hard for them to learn anything new because they don't want to accept it. They don't ever want to accept that they don't know something, okay? If that makes sense. So this was the kind of person you were dealing with. Somebody who thought that they were bigger and better than you. And I feel like you're doing better than them. <laughs> and they're angry. They're upset about what they're hearing. They may be hearing that you've got new options, new opportunities around you. Or this person could have treated you like an option. Okay? Take it how it resonates. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Sagittarius. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, and I'm getting the sense that this person put you in some kind of competition with someone else, possibly treated you like an option. They could have hid things from you. They could have been very secretive, and they could have felt justified in that because that's the kind of person you were dealing with. Okay? They could have played games, wanted this competition because that's the kind of thing that fed their ego. And I feel like they let it go on and on and on. And they were messing with an earth angel. You know? And now people are coming to them and telling them how good you're doing. And they're, they're realizing they were wrong in what they were, how they handled the situation. But they don't want to admit it. So they get angry instead. And they lash out at everybody else. This is, I feel like this is a narcissist. Yeah, there's a whole lot of gossip about you. I feel like this person got with a Queen of Wands energy, a party girl, okay? Got with a karmic individual. You know, but nobody sets that fire off like you do. Um, really, for real. This person was all up in their ego, but boy, one word about how you're doing, and it sets them off. I mean, think about that. When you come right down to it, you kind of have power over them. And you don't even have to have anything to do with this person. <laughs> and they still get triggered over you, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're getting their information from other people. I just feel like this is a whole lot of gossip. I'm also feeling like this Queen of Wands energy, she's... Um, very feisty, very passionate, um, and she's going to go after someone else. She's somebody who's going to follow her passions, you know? 
Yeah, see, and now we have another person here. Um, I'm getting the sense that, that this person's getting information about you from a lot of people. There may actually be someone who could be defending you behind the scenes. This could be someone like an ex-friend. Um, kind of, I feel like she's sort of standing up for you here, this Queen of Swords. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like when people come and try to talk to her about you, she's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Um, and she may be defending you as well. Yeah, this could be somebody who's sticking up for you, collective. Okay? If anybody steps towards this Queen of Swords, she's going to defend the star. So this could be somebody who maybe was your friend at one point. They could have turned their back on you, and now she just doesn't want to deal with the gossip anymore. Um, yeah, I feel like you have a friend behind the scenes that's defending you as well. It could be somebody like this person's sister, or it could be like a best friend. Okay, that's how I'm seeing it. She's coming out as like a queen of swords to the king of swords, but I'm not... I'm not feeling like this is somebody that they're committed to. I feel like this is a friend of yours or a family member is defending you. Something like that. Yeah, look, she's calling she's calling people out. Ooh, with the sun card? Yeah. Um, yeah, if anybody if anybody talks to about you in front of this Queen of Swords, oh boy, she brings them down. She completely calls them out on their BS and their um, lies and their betrayal and their manipulation right away. She calls them out. So there is someone defending you here. And I feel like you're unaware of it. This could be somebody that you've walked away from in your, li in, in your life. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who betrayed you, maybe breadcrumbed you. I feel like this is this... Um, this is this person. Why am I getting the sense that you were really close friends with this person? If it wasn't your best friend, it was a very close friend or family member, okay? It feels like both family and friend. I don't know, but you're moving on. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, and you know, you could be in the public eye as well. Um, you could have your own platform, be on social media. This is somebody who could be defending you on social media. So if, if you're, you know, if you have any social media site, right? Um, this, this friend could be commenting on your posts, you know, to defend you. Okay, because this is a lot of exposure here with the sun and the star. And, you know, I feel like she's saying nothing but good things about you. Especially with the star and the chariot, she could be saying that you were nothing but sweet and kind to this person. Or sweet and kind to whoever's trying to bash you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You were nothing but loving. You were nothing but loving. Um, I feel like this is somebody who could have betrayed you in the past because she's, she's picking up that sword too. She could have betrayed you in the past because there's some kind of breakup with a friend, family member. But yeah, she's reminding people of how good you were to them. She may even be very proud of what you're doing here, Collective, because um, you're up on a pedestal. You're very balanced. You're very accomplished. Okay, you've accomplished some major goals here. You've transformed. Like, yeah, this is an ex-friend or family member defending you. Okay. Clarify this Eight of Swords. I'm getting the sense that this person thinks about you all the time. So you've got an ex here thinking about you, and you've got a family member or friend thinking about you all the time. Yeah, thinking about, this is somebody who betrayed you. 
This is definitely someone who betrayed you, and I feel like she's feeling guilty about that. Um, she, I don't believe, I feel like it's a feminine energy, and I don't believe she's confessed that to you yet, but she wishes she could. So this is a, a friend that, um, if she can't make it right with you, she's at least not going to let anybody talk smack about you behind your back. Yep, that door is shut on the smack talk. And I feel like she's she voices her opinion, man. Um, you're about to have someone new coming into your life as well, Collective. I can see this. This is a judgment call being made by the divine. You're about to have someone... Coming into your energy, um, someone here is being encouraged to come to you, maybe even. Someone who's got their life together. So you're about to get new love and someone is about to be in a lot of regret because they lost out on an empress. All right, yeah, I feel like this new person coming in is going to be a king of pentacles. This is somebody who's going to want to be loyal and dedicated to you. Uh, it could be a boss, business owner. Uh, this could be somebody who's very good with their money. Someone who's very down to earth. Someone who's reasonable. Okay, you can reason with this person. You couldn't reason with the last one. <laughs> this king of swords, yeah. You can't tell this person they're wrong about anything. Or that they're making a mistake or anything. Yeah, that person's going to be in a lot of regret. And I feel like this Queen of Swords um, kind of puts the hammer down on this person as well. Okay, they're going to be a lot in a lot of regret. She makes these people, um, she makes them take accountability for their BS and the things that they're saying about you, that's for sure. But yeah, you're about to get someone new. Oh yeah, look. Look at how she's putting the burdens on them. She's, ta she's telling this person, this King of Swords, that it's their fault. Yep. Yeah. She's putting the burden right back on them. All of it. Yeah, I don't know who this, uh, this Queen of Swords is, but she still cares about you. She's doing the right thing by you behind the scenes. Yeah, she's shutting this person up. They, she tells them things that they need to think about. That's what it is. She's calling this person out on all of their, their own guilt in this. And she's uh, putting them in their place. And they're actually listening to her. So I don't, this could be a family member of theirs. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. This could be somebody who drinks a lot, parties a lot, has some kind of toxic lifestyle. They could have, um, they could, they could be a heavy drinker. They could be addicted to a substance. Toxic individual. Okay. And I feel like that's what, um, this queen of swords is telling this person, you, you know, this is your fault. You were a player. You're a heavy drinker. It's because of your, your toxic tendencies, your addictions. She's putting the blame all on this person. And I feel like they're enraged. They're angry, but she is telling them the truth. They have to, they have to go and think about it, you know? Yeah, and you're about to be in, look, you're about to be in a commitment with this King of Pentacles. We've got the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you're about to get a love offer coming in very quickly. And when this ex finds out about it, they're going to feel like an absolute fool. This And whoever this Queen of Swords is, an ex-friend or family member, she's making this person feel like a fool and take accountability for everything that they've done. Okay, this is behind the scenes. And you're about to get new love. There's a lot happening in this reading. Okay, let's um 
Let's get some oracles on it. Chop wood. This Queen of Swords energy is coming in really strong in your reading. Um, she's like your defender. That's the feeling that I'm getting. I'm feeling like this is her right here. She's like your defender. And she's not letting anybody trash talk you anymore. Um, yeah, that's coming to an end. She's not putting up with it anymore. Yeah, I feel like she's blocking everybody, all of these haters. She's blocking the gossip. She's blocking the trash talk. She's blocking the lies. She is defending you at every flipping turn, okay, for real. And I feel like, um, I feel like you're being divinely led to possibly even a new location. See, this is, this is her holding these people away from you. Yeah, that's a confirmation. Uh, so that you can be free and clear and be led. Okay? I feel like spirit's working through her to stop all of this. And people are listening. Okay? Not many people want to go up against the Queen of Swords, all right? Yeah, you're about to get somebody new collective. All of this plopped out in one big clump. Um, you're about to get a King of Pentacles energy. Okay, you two together are going to be like a power couple. You're going to be able to build generational wealth and abundance. This is somebody who's going to be honest with you. They're going to love you just the way you are, and they're going to be committed and dedicated at your side. This is new. This is you being led and starting a new life. Okay? I feel like, um, I don't know why time for a nap is out here. Why is time for a nap here? You may be tired. You may be um, being urged to get your rest. Okay? Because something new is about to come in. Yep. And yes, rest so you can be ready to accept this when it comes in. Okay? Yeah, you're about to get your, um, your, maybe you've been manifesting somebody new coming in and a lot of money and abundance and success. That's coming. I feel like spirit is saying rest now because, man, when, you, when your new life is starting to get on a roll, um, you're going to need all the energy you can get. Yeah, they're telling you to release this, release what no longer serves you, and um, make space for the new stuff, okay? That's pretty much what this is. Make space for the new. I, I can also see this as justice, too. I feel like, and that's what this Queen of Swords energy is bringing in. She's um, helping to vindicate your name behind the scenes. It's someone who's not a part of your life anymore. Somebody that you walked away from, I feel. Yeah, get ready because you got it. You got someone new coming in. I cannot make it up. And, and, and look, it coming in, as I say that, here's that open window and all of that love blowing in. Okay, the mask is off. This is somebody who's going to be honest and real with you. They're going to be authentic with you, collective. This is going to change things here with the five. You've both learned lessons. You're both wearing a crown. This person's going to want to be loyal and dedicated and committed to you. So get ready, okay, for love, for a lot of abundance, okay, and for your new life. Here it comes. Anyway, my beautiful collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, drop a comment, you guys. Give me a confirmation about this person. Who is this Queen of Swords in your life? It, I, don't, I can't tell if this is a friend or a family member. I feel like it's a friend, okay? But um, just let me know what the correlation is between the friend and family thing. This could be this ex's sister, but was your best friend? I don't know. Let me know, okay?